Saram everyone and welcome once again to Good Morning with Gayatri Mantra. This is a series since we have started a couple of months ago we have received lot of positive responses. So with prayers to Bhagwan we continue this series and today we have with us brother Amir Desh Pandey who has been serving in the Shri Sathya Sai Center for Human Values and this is what has been keeping ame busy in the last one year swami inaugurated this uh, beautiful center to disseminate human values in november 2017 so while this institution has been keeping ame busy what has been the basis of what is ame is the gayatri mantra which bhagwan himself initiated him into many years ago when he performed his sacred thread ceremony the upanayanam ceremony himself so he has been very fortunate to receive brahmopadesham from swami directly so brother you should share about that unique experience and the privilege uh yes mind jogs back to 1989 it i think it was in the mid 80s that my mother had seen a samuhika upanayanam ceremony mass upanayanam <clears throat> a mass upanayanam and at that time she had made it her uh, she had decided that if at all anybody were is to do my is to perform my son's upanayanam it will have to be swami's only so in 1988 when we had an interview mm-hmm. she had prayed to bhagwan uh, and she said swami you should perform mm. uh, and swami immediately kind of agreed okay uh, he said yes i'll do it wow uh, and um, so he gave us a date um, i think it was in 1989 he gave us a date maybe like 4 or 5 days later and uh, for that ceremony because it's it's a very big ceremony in uh, for us uh, maharashtrians also mm. so whole lot of my relatives landed up um, like nearly 20 25 of them and that to imagine uh, getting an interview for yes. uh, from swami about it and strangely my father just couldn't make it my father used to work in gulf oh, okay. and he just couldn't make it he tried to buy even a first class ticket nothing was available mm. and uh, so Uh, all of us you know with 20 25 of us sitting waiting for darshan i would, i remember the pancha and all of that <laughs> very uh, elaborate yes. arrangement was yes. made and uh, we were tutored in mm. you know what needs to be taken in what mm. should not be taken in etc etc very important ceremony actually v- yeah it is like it's a, it's the second birth it's yes, considered absolutely. to be like dwija Absolutely. So you are born twice. Mm. Uh, dvija, you know, the word dvija itself is a very beautiful word. Yes. There are four things which are twice born. Yes. Uh, a bird is twice born mm. because it is first born in the egg and then yes. the egg cracks and then the baby comes out. Uh, a Brahmin is twice born. Correct. Right. Um, and then Brahma is twice born mm-hmm. uh, as well because he came out from the Nabi and then the Nabi, yeah. the okay. Kamala opened, lotus, the lotus opened, and then you know Brahma appeared. So. Uh, that's the kind of uh, exactly. that's the kind of uh, yeah. uh, what should i say so it's it's like a rebirth whoever undergoes the upanayanam ceremony once you are born uh, from your mother's womb but now you are actually born into god actually in in the sense yes. that now so you in, get initiated into the divine that's right so back in the olden days this was the time when the the formal education started correct so if you look at ramayana yes. or uh, you know bhagavatam yes. it is it immediately after the thread ceremony yes. he, they go off to the gurukula correct and that's pretty much exactly what happened to me 1989 <laughs> was my thread ceremony 1990 i joined primary school oh wow yeah mm. so uh, all of us are waiting over there with the ela- elaborate uh, arrangements and swami comes and just ignores us all the 25 <laughs> of us okay and uh, he had told a, that that yeah. you should be there he should and we had got permission <laughs> we were we got the chit to sit in the first row mm-hmm. and all of that and he mm-hmm. just came and as if we didn't exist you know something that only god <laughs> yeah. can do yeah and uh, so immediately after that all of my rel- relatives you know they had you know all our relatives how they are right yeah. i mean um, with due respect to all of them <laughs> they had promptly booked the return tickets the same evening oh. you know because oh, they thought the ceremony gets over yeah when the uh, date is fixed and everything the date is, is fixed done. and everything is done right <laughs> so everybody left oh, right? we left everybody left and we were only four of us my grandfather my sister my mother and myself oh my god uh, because we knew that th- you know mm. you know with swami it's 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 never certain yeah so and his time zones and time scales exactly. are so different when, when he says 3 days later <laughs> when is when is his 3 days <laughs> going to happen so 
we waited all of the relatives left in fact my rela- my relatives at that time they told my mother it's okay you know we'll go in front of lord ganesha uh-huh. on the same day after the morning darshan you know i was crying and all of uh-huh. that so it's okay in front of ganesha we'll do it it's okay. equivalent to you know doing mm-hmm. it in front of swami and my mother said nothing doing if you're going to do it swami is going to do it mm-hmm. anyway so 3 days later absolutely myself and my grandfather in fact had gone to dharmavaram to book our return tickets mm-hmm. okay uh, in those days you have to go to yes. dharmavaram yeah and in the morning darshan darshan is over just before bhajans swami comes out my mother is sitting in the arches the old arch days mm, mm. and swami walks up to my mother and says kidhar hai tum <laughs> where are you where are you i have been <laughs> looking for you <laughs> you know i told you i'll perform you, uh, you know this and my mother was like okay swami <laughs> we <laughs> can't even tell him hello we are there <laughs> you know because and, and you know that that's swami's way of doing yes. it he'll just stump you yeah like, where were you like <laughs> swami where were you, <laughs> you know? anyway so uh, he said this evening i'll perform mm-hmm. right and so probably he did not want all this paraphernalia and all he mm-hmm. hardly gave us any time mm. and and my mother was even more panic stricken because the main vatu is in dharmavaram right <laughs> yeah. and it used to take a good 2 hours to yes, come back from dharmavaram days, yeah. and no mobiles how do how mm. does she even communicate to us yes. that please come back mm. by evening darshan time and mm. we have to do some kind of preparation, preparation right before yeah. anyway so we landed up at around 12 o'clock back 12 12 30 and my mother is like where are you guys you know swami has told <laughs> this evening he is going to perform mm. and usually um, upanayanams don't happen in the evenings there is a muhurtam for upanayanam uh-huh. which is usually before 12 o'clock in the morning mm. you know oh, okay. lunch it usually the okay. uh, brahmopadesham finishes by lunch we have seen it even happening yeah. here yes. uh, all of the samuhik upanayanams ends with lunch and we had now few just a few ago. Uh, yes. weeks ago yes. Yeah. yes so you know and here is swami telling in the evening <laughs> and uh, so we all sat and nothing we did not prepare anything just one tray because some of the elders over here are told take a thread with you just in case and then in the evening you know as soon as swami comes out and in fact swami told shauri aunty mm-hmm. that you know make them sit in the see front them. where i can see them mm-hmm. and so as soon as swami came out you know i saw my mother and sister going in so i also went in and yeah and what followed was um, an extremely almost a life changing experience wow. uh, where you know just it was just swami sitting here my mother and wow. myself Uh, sorry it was my mother and myself mm-hmm. i was on the right hand side and then swami materialized the the thread materialized the yeah, thread yeah he materialized wow. the thread uh, and then he explained the mm-hmm. you know the various things uh, of of the thread probably if uh, i've done this i think in another interview But as I well i think it's it's worth repeating because it's it's definitely so profound when sure so so you know he he took the thread and then each of the the sacred thread is divided into three right so that there are three threads which go on to make the big thread and each of those threads is made up of three threads yes so swami kind of held it on his finger and then he says do you know what is the meaning of this so he says the first thread which is made up of three threads mm. is trikala mm. so trikala sandhya which mm. is uh, instead of morning afternoon and evening swami said it is past present and future so trikala is the past present and future and then the middle thread he said is what is this So that is trimurti brahma vishnu and maheshwara and then the third thread he said is the trigunas which is a mm-hmm. sattva rajas and tamas wow and then swami said in all the three times mm. think about the trimurtis and go wow. beyond the trigunas oh wow so, yeah and that is how so that is in how, all the three times think about the trimurtis and go beyond the trigunas yeah wow Amazing. so so that is how he explained the thread and then he held so usually the father and the mother hold the thread mm. so here it was swami, swami my mother held the thread and he put it across and then the brahmopadesham usually is done in the years but for mm. me it was not in the years it was open, open yeah everybody <laughs> else was sitting and so swami chanted yeah. uh, om om mm. bhur bhur swa bhur bhur swa so i chanted with swami i think twice mm. and then swami asked me to chant another two times uh, on my oh. own um and then swami kind of you know so swami said uh, um how many faces does gayatri have mm-hmm. now this is a balvikas question yeah. okay i am a second <laughs> i was a second group balvikas <laughs> i'm doing pretty well but in front of swami just goes black yeah. <laughs> and my mother is a balvikas teacher and so mm. she's kind of prodding me panchamukhi yeah. gayatri panchamukhi and swami says hey, face, yeah. you keep quiet let him see you know <laughs> so i'm like <laughs> and swami says panchamukhi gayatri mm. okay now then the second question which starts is swami says 
how many what are the names of the faces of gayatri now mm. this was beyond syllabus <laughs> yeah. this is out of syllabus my mother also did not know <laughs> okay then swami said om mm. bhur bhuvaswah tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimai dhiyo yona prachodayat so these are the four five names mm. of the faces and you will think it is savitri gayatri saraswati <laughs> but probably yeah, yeah. yes but, but i mean these yeah, are so the five this faces. is something that when i stand opposite to gayatri mata yes. here you know i just move from left to right chanting yes. that and you can focus on every yes. face yes. so this is something which is very beautiful mm. uh, then of course swami asked who is your ishta devata who mm. is your uh, favorite deity mm. and then again my mother said say you say you say you <laughs> and then uh, i was blank again so then swami materialized a, a, a pendant of swami Oh, of uh, himself yeah of a silver wow. pendant and wow. then gave it and then wow. of course so so your mother's wish was fulfilled in a way absolutely. your mother was wanted you to say that swami you are everything and swami himself is creating a pendant Correct. of himself yes wow. and of course then he gave a shivalinga also but then the, the idea being that ever since that time and then swami went on to say do sandhya vandanam mm. that is you know the the ritual which is connected yes. to the thread ceremony yes. do it three times a day mm. and then swami went on to say i mean it was almost as if you know he knew that this guy this monkey is not going to do it right <laughs> so he says even if you are not able to do sandhya vandanam mm. remember gayatri you know throughout the day wow. and chant gayatri at least thrice a day at least thrice uh, yeah so he said in the e- in the morning when you are having bath chant yes. gayatri in the afternoon before food mm. you have chant gayatri and in the evening when you are having the evening bath mm. you chant gayatri so ever since um, i don't know whether before that gayatri was such an important part of my life mm. but i think since then she has become my go to <laughs> like she's my constant companion, companion. Yeah, so, so very constantly you know it, it, it's almost perhaps become like something which happens unconsciously uh, unfortunately i have not reached that level yet okay. you know where it's this yeah the conscious competence the unconscious <laughs> incompetence <laughs> to conscious competence so i am probably somewhere i would say you know i've i've coined my own term <laughs> i can introduce it instead of constant integrated awareness i call it periodic integrated awareness <laughs> so there are periods when you really intensely at least chant exactly and you have especially when you're in trouble trouble yeah <laughs> so, so 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 that is something perhaps you you would have uh, experienced any number of times right you are in trouble you are suddenly in darkness or you, or you are suddenly uh, in the face of such a huge uh, adversity and you pray to gayatri and you see light uh in fact my my go to like for anything it could be so i am a pretty forgetful person you know i keep my things all over the place and then i don't remember where i've mm-hmm. kept them mm-hmm. i'm sure a lot of us are like that at least i want to <laughs> satisfy myself <laughs> saying that but um, believe me unbelievable things like for example i'll just give you a very small example um after i joined for mba mm-hmm. right um i i completed my mba here and i was um, joined in for mphil Mm. and uh, i was lucky enough to be given the gold medal for wow. the mphil mm. now okay that was a good part the not so good part was that i was going to get my degree only if i submitted all my previous documents <laughs> you know that's a that's a necessity yes. of the administrative block yes. and i figured that i had lost my bcom uh, you know <laughs> i had never even applied for my bcom degree Okay. but if not my degree at least i needed my marks cards ah, so you... okay and it, i had completed my my degree in 2000 and here i was in 2007 after mm. working for a few years mm. finishing my mba then mm. doing my mphil mm. and i just did not have my those yeah. mark sheets so imagine the... when the controller of examinations told me that if you don't apply you can't get the gold medal from swami Mm-hmm. I was like oh my god <laughs> I went and I literally ransacked my house in Bangalore mm. you know looking for those uh, those mm. marks cards mm. and I just couldn't find it and I was at my wits end because like this is a moment yes, that yes. and I, one thing is I don't deserve the gold medal I'm sure because mphil is really not something that a degree that you know you can award a gold medal but who cares I'm getting something <laughs> from, from Swami <laughs> on 22nd November <laughs> and you know and that's it I said Swami if you want this only you mm. can find out where my and you know going to bangalore university is an unbelievably difficult yes. uh, uh, role you know job to do mm. so swami i need my marks cards i mm. need my marks cards without that i have to go file an fir with the police and you know all of that yes. unnecessary mm. gayatri starts <laughs> you will not believe brother bishu in a place where i must have searched easily 10 times 10 times okay there is an envelope lying over there 
and I just randomly pull out that envelope, and my marks cards are there. Wow! You no, know, I'm sure it is not a big deal today. When mm. I look back, yeah, after all, what marks card? But that marks card helped me get a gold, gold medal gold. from Swami's, Swami's hand. hand. Forget the gold medal, anything from Swami's, <laughs> Swami's hand. hand. Yes, you yes. know. So yeah. it's some of these little things, and I I strongly mm. recommend yes. you lose anything in life. You mm. anything? Huh? It could be peace of mind. <laughs> yeah. It could be a piece of cloth. <laughs> okay, use yeah. Gayatri. I can guarantee you, you mm. will find it. Yeah. and i think this is something that many of us have experienced you know you you are in a new location you you lost your way or you're in the um, bus stand or you miss the you miss the train you chant the gayatri you you go to the airport and you miss the flight and you chant gayatri you are in the middle of an interview you you run out of thought you chant the gayatri absolutely yes i think it, this is something that all of us have experienced whoever is into this sadhana yes, isn't it brother yes in fact what i feel is in the way you can chant the gayatri is don't think about the problem at that time yes that's one thing that i've kind of you know it's probably because you know swami says no the the voice of the lord can be heard in the depths of the, the silence. silence and this gayatri basically helps you to become silent mm. if you are constantly focusing on the problem then it just becomes any other you know yes. uh, jumbling of words om burgo swata savitur varani i mean <laughs> it could be spanish it could Correct. be anything yeah. and it yes. will not but if you are able to silence yourself from the problem correct and just focus here probably that clarity which comes in yes. you know what maybe this is what i'm supposed to do yeah. and that's when you know the pure stream of intuition <laughs> and conscious yes. uh, conscience starts to speak and then that becomes right i mean there is problem and there is consciousness you chant the gayatri and the problem is removed yes sort of you obliterate the problem yeah, you, out of your you take your focus off the problem of, then what remains is only consciousness the solutions yeah. only consciousness and consciousness find solution for every problem correct yes <laughs> it's something like that yeah 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 brother any any other instance uh, where you have experienced this power of gayatri so, i know there are many big yeah. and small but maybe one more yeah but you know i frankly like mine are not dramatic <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that for the viewers to decide <laughs> yeah means they are not like cancer cancelled or you know swami appearing or vibhuti pouring out from a photograph but i don't think we can <clears> ever <throat> classify something as dramatic non dramatic everything is <laughs> very important value yeah. at anyway, that moment any yeah. other so story, yeah. so i remember another time when uh, you know i was i was traveling to uh, to spend time with my parents in in the gulf so i was uh, it was the month of uh, may okay so swami had gone to kodai canal and i was go- i was going to abu dhabi okay. and i had gone to the bangalore airport and there was a rule which had just come maybe like 5 6 months before that which was uh, if you when you car- if you are booking your ticket through a credit card you either must have the credit card with you or at least a copy of the credit card okay. irrespective of whose ever credit card it is mm-hmm. otherwise you will not be allowed to board the flight okay. i did i did not know that okay i land up on the airport the flight is at like 130 at night mm-hmm. so i am on the airport at 11 okay and uh, i stand in the line i go up to this guy this guy says yeah show me the credit card i said i don't have the credit card so then we can't board you he said so i thought he was joking he says <laughs> come on i mean i have actually paid for the ticket yeah <laughs> right but he said no sir it's a rule and mm-hmm. he even showed me on the ticket oh. itself the, the, it's written oh, that you okay. better be carrying the credit card or the copy of the credit card oh. I said I'm I don't have it so he says who booked it I said my father booked it he said can I speak to your father so I tried to call my father okay and you know b- uh, by then he had already hit the bed mm. it was on silent mode and so he was not picking up he said I'm sorry I cannot board you on oh the flight God. so it's 11 o'clock and so my mind immediately starts chanting gayatri and the the next thing is okay what's the solution now okay maybe I'll just spend time on the airport <laughs> you know all night and then go in the morning to bangalore bus stand and take a bus back to aparthi what oh is to god. do right and the ticket is gone <laughs> oh my okay. god so uh, uh i i stand over there and he literally tells me can you just wait man you you can get agitated in a situation like this but you you, you yeah. just you just chanted gayatri and you said okay fine i'm now used to that like yeah. once you start chanting gayatri what, what else can you what do what else can you do <laughs> <laughs> chant gayatri and be calm if yeah. something has to happen will happen exactly anxiety doesn't help yeah jumping around doesn't help right so i was standing at the side and uh, i was still not sure that this guy knows the rules <laughs> <laughs> so and i was hoping that some so other guy comes come and enlighten this fellow and enlighten this fellow <laughs> okay. which is exactly what happened but in a very different way oh, okay so i'm i'm waiting over there and um an- another arab comes over there oh, you know okay. with so mm. and he has the exact same problem so mm. i'm now watching what is this guy going to ah, do okay. mm. you know what the arab does he says i'm sorry sir i can't board you 
Okay. Hmm. The Arab promptly goes and buys another ticket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And poof, he's also gone. So again, I'm the only guy. Oh, so, and so, so now the problem is genuine. He's genuine, <laughs> yeah. right? So there's only one hour left mm. for the flight. It's around 12 o'clock now, uh, 12, 12, 15. And he looks at me and says, I'm really sorry. I can't. Like, why are you standing here? Mm. Like, don't even waste your time. Like, yeah. you, you, there's no negotiation here. You know? like, <laughs> don't wait to negotiate with me. So I said, no, um, I'm just thinking what to do now. Because I just have another... Nine hours to kill, <laughs> right? So where do I go now from here? So he says, from where are you coming? I said, I'm coming from Puttaparthi. So he says, oh, Sai Baba's ashram. So I said, yeah, I am a student there. Oh, then no problem. You know, my manager will take care of it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So he, and I thought he's joking because usually, you know, people kind of can just be pulling one on you. So he goes and calls his manager and he says, sir, when Sai Baba person has come, he doesn't have his credit card and all that. So this guy looks at me and he says, do you have your ID card? What are you doing there? He said, I'm a student. Do you have your ID? So I showed him my ID card. He says, okay, fine. Give him the boarding pass. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he he kind of, he just went on his way. So I was still not sure. Are they pulling a fast one on me? Like, <laughs> are they just joking around? Yeah. You know? um, so, so he says, yeah, sir, come put your bag here. He took my this thing and then he starts giving me. I said, are you serious? Like, you know, <laughs> like what, what happened? Mm. He said, no, sir, see, it's about trust, sir. So that's when he explained to me, you uh -huh. know, why credit card is. Mm. And so this manager comes back and uh, he's standing next to him because I'm the only guy now at the counter. Mm. Okay. And, you know, I used to have a photograph of mine with Swami's. Okay. Um, kind of on the individual my, photo with Swami. The, the individual photo on my mobile phone. Okay. So I just kind of just showed him to to tell him that, you know, sir, I am truly a, a Swami student. student. Yeah, I'm like okay. Swami's <laughs> institute student at least. Um and so he looks at the he looks at the camera and he literally jumped from that side of the oh, you know uh, counter to this the. side, you know, over <laughs> that where you keep oh, the luggage. Oh he jumped and he came and he hugged me. Oh wow. He says, Oh my God, these hands have touched Swami's hands. Because, oh. you know, and instantly, like, there were tears in his eyes and there were tears. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, Swami has given. Then And then he says, sir, I've been the airport manager for so many years. Every time Swami goes from Bangalore to Kodaikanal, I've been in the flight with Swami. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, and, you know, I was wondering, can there be a better visa than that? Where, you know, <laughs> and in fact, many times I feel that a time should come when, just we saying that we are Bhagwan's devotees yes. is a visa for us to, you know, yeah. like we cannot be wrong. Absolutely. We cannot be doing something wrong yes. because we are Swami's devotees. Yes. And you know? and the trust that happened. Because, exactly. you know, you are coming from Puttaparthi, Puttaparthi. your Sai Baba student. That said, okay, then That's no it. problem. Yeah, I have no problem. I, I am ready to take yes. full charge of your, yes. which, uh, which, uh, which I thought That's was incredible. Huge. Incredible. You know? That is the legacy that Swami has left You behind. don't need credit card. You have Swami's Swami card. Yeah, yeah master card. <laughs> master card, yeah. Divine master card. <laughs> Divine master card. Yeah. How, how yes. incredible is that? Yeah, absolutely. And to me, in many ways... The Gayatri Mantra is a master card that you carry with you yes. every time. Yeah. You know, Your medium to connect with connect. the master. Yes. 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 Which yes. gives you unlimited access to yes. unlimited finance, <laughs> yeah. insurance cover, yes. grace, yes. everything. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, you... It, it becomes really the way you can connect with the consciousness wherever you are, however you are. I mean, that that is something... In that, fact, that's what the th first three words is, right? Yes. Who, hua, suaha, which yes. is this world... Yeah. You know, the the all the three worlds, yes. the, the subtle world yes. and the gross world yeah. and the stula shari. So yeah. all, at all, all levels, yeah. so at all levels, you can connect to yeah. that. Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, as you're mentioning this, I'm reminded of this very beautiful uh, drama that was presented by the Balvikas children of Maharashtra right. in Goa in 2010. And uh, the drama was entitled Veda Mata Gayatri. And, you know, they had taken all these four facets of... Uh, Gayatri, which are mentioned in the Upanishads and made it like a beautiful hymn and it goes like Sarva Roga Nivarini Gayatri Sarva Dukha Pariharini Gayatri Sarva Vancha Phala Shri Gayatri Sarva Veda Mata Gayatri I think yeah. it's really I, I remember that yes uh, I mean Sarva Roga Nivarini it can remove all your ills Sarva Dukkha Pariharini. No, you, you cannot yes. imagine. Uh, it is said that, you know, after Sanyas, which is the yeah. ultimate stage, in Sanyas, you actually perform funeral rites for yourself. 
<clears throat> right? They say you do tarpanam mm. Mm. for your own self. From then onwards, you're not a Brahmin, you're not a Kshatriya, Shudra, Vaishya, anything. You're mm. just, yes. yeah. you know, the only job. And therefore, because at the you stage don't of have connection with your body. Yet. Body, yeah. right? At that stage, all sadhanas are thrown out. Mm. Only Atma Vichara is the yes. sadhana, which is contemplation on the self. And therefore, no mantra is also prescribed for a sannyas at yeah. the level of sannyas, except one. Gayatri mantra. Gayatri is the only yes. uh, mantra yes. which is which has the qualification for even a sannyasi to chant. Yes. That is the that is why she is yes. Chandasam Mata. Yeah. She yeah. is the Gayatri mother of Chandasam. all Vedas. Yes. Is yes. Gayatri because yes. after you give up all the Vedas, yes. you can still hold on to Gayatri. Gayatri. And I think, and the most beautiful thing is it is so universal. Anyone can chant. Yes. And that is the beauty of Indian culture. You know, right from the time uh, a child starts thinking, we are initiating and equipping the child with this potent mantra so that, you know, the connection with the divine sort of starts and it solidifies as, as, you, as, as you go by. Yeah, and, and the concept of, you know, uh, the prachodayat, which is yes. the prayer over there. So the whole in the whole Gayatri there will be always a prachodayat. Yes. The prachodayat basically stands for uh, you know a prayer asking for discrimination. Wow. Right. So prachakarani, which is mm. to separate. Separate yes. what? Yes. Smaranitya nityadam. Yeah. You know. Bhaja tyaja durujana samsargam bhaja sadhu samagamam kuru punya mahoratram smaranitya nityadam. So what is nitya? Permanent. Yes. What is anitya? Impermanent. Yes. What, Give me the discrimination to discriminate between what is permanent, yes. what is impermanent. Yes. Wow. Which is so beyond yeah. anything. Yes. Right? There is no denomination, there is no religious denomination associated yeah. with it. Correct. Just let me know what is permanent mm -hmm. and impermanent. Yeah. And you will notice as at various stages in our life, different things will be becoming permanent and impermanent. Mm -hmm. For example, as a child, I think my parents are permanent. Mm -hmm. My mother is going to be permanently with me. Then, then you grow up and then you yes. think your job and your yes. wealth and your family is going to be permanently <laughs> with you. All yes. the time it is asking you, mm. think, think what is permanent, it. what is impermanent. Yes. That dhyo yon of prachodaya. Yes. So such a beautiful, yeah. uh, you know, mantra is, yes. such a prayer, beautiful prayer is yes. embedded in this mantra. Now, in fact, I mean, all of us all the time want permanent happiness, right. permanent joy, permanent bliss and one of the very, very beautiful mediums to achieve this and to equip ourselves with that power to not only discriminate but also live in that permanent happiness is the Gayatri Mantra. Thank you so much, brother, for sparing your time and sharing such a beautiful moment. just would like to end with this thought. In 2011, yeah. you know, as a child who was born in Swami's fold, I did not know any other God. I think most mm. of us don't know any yeah. other God. I never thought I'll see a time when Swami will not be there. Yes. I always thought that this is one person who will always be there in my life. Yes. I just have to go to Puttaparthi, Prashantinam, and he will come out and he will give me darshan. Right? So, when Swami went to the hospital, it was unbearable for most of yes. us. Right? We couldn't imagine that yes. there is no Swami around us. Yeah. Like, Swami is now inaccessible. Mm -hmm. Right? And it was even during those times yes. that Gayatri helped me to know yes. what is permanent, what is impermanent, which part of that Satya Sai yes. is permanently Permanent. with me yes. and which part of that Satya Sai is probably not permanent with me. Yes. Right? Yes. Even during those times, it was some of the most incredible moments of my spiritual progress was when Swami was in the hospital. So, I just wanted to uh, yes. tell that even during those times, yes. The Gayatri that, Yeah, I mean, I think uh, for everyone in the Sai fold, uh, there cannot be a greater, greater catastrophe in our life, uh, uh, what happened in April 2011. But uh, what gave strength to so many is the power and the solace uh, and the support that Gayatri Mantra gave. And I think uh, this is something that we all should hold on to as we go through the vicissitudes of life so that we always remain connected and we always are empowered to walk on that path that Bhagwan has so clearly shown for us and walk with happiness, walk with uh, joy and walk with a lot of energy. Thank you so much. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Oh, <laughs> 
சவிதூவரேண்யம் வர்கோ தேவசீமீ தவிதுவரேண்யம் வர்கோ தேவசீமீ பிரச்சோதையாத்சவிதுவரேண்யம் வர்கோ தேவசீமீ தீயோயோ நோதையா 